uprising, you know, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't build any tension. We, and we still don't know why the city is so militarized and why it has right. such a paranoid mayor and why all these security functions are in place. We're building to a point where we're supposed to, I think, assume that it's because they can't control their servant population. But there was nothing that, that, that seeded that for me early on to believe that that's why the society exists. We, 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 we want to have these apes in our lives, but it, there's also something sinister happening behind the scenes and that's where we need all the security doesn't I, I, this, there, I needed i needed something else going on there doesn't this feel like that moment of the film when it should be that we understand why breck is this cuckoo that yeah. that he reveals that there's already yeah. been some sort of ape uprising that killed his daughter or something like that oh yeah that yeah it, and then we go oh now i know why he's cuckoo pants there's already been a problem now i know why it's militarized oh shit he is going to kill Caesar. We love Caesar. We don't want Caesar dead. We need to know, though, that he has a reason for it. Well, doesn't he say early on, he said, my wife had a tradition, which would, when he was talking yeah. about naming, which would imply yeah, that she was not around anymore. Mm-hmm. I think she, I think he said had, like past tense. I'll have to go back and look at it. But it, it makes sense that he would have this paranoia if we knew that his family had been impacted at some point. There's a... I'm not going to tell you the moment, but there's a wonderful moment in one of the films where we kind of find out the impact of one character's past life. And, uh-huh. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, it's it's to the point where I, I think it's one of the, the best moments of that entire trilogy. And were we you, – you could not play it the way they play that one. But if we if were you to play it rather operatic to where it's his – it is his diva moment where he loses his shit because of what he's lost in the past. And maybe he has a scar on his face or something. And now we kind of yeah. know that anything like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's like whenever you see a character with milk eye and a scar across their face and suddenly you at least get that hint of where that might have come from. Man, it, it, it takes a character and it would make Bert, it would make him instead of just a screaming actor, it would make him kind of scary. And then we get what. Uh, the the co- movie slash TV convention that I always hate where somebody explains something that everybody already fucking knows. Hey, it's the Achilles this mixed road panel. You know, referring to Achilles heel. Really? That's why you named it the Achilles list? With, hey, it's the Gordian knot. Hey, it's the sword of Damocles. I mean, we all know what these things are. You don't have to explain it to us. You know, I- so, but you know, we're gonna have to wait till next week to find out what the explanation that, is. I could be wrong. It when, could be something else. When you were saying that, I thought, okay, this is he going to go into how George Lucas always says, and it's you know, if you watch his movies and even into the Raiders films, there's always that moment, like in Raiders of the Lost Ark, where they kind of explain the plot. They explain, hey, the Nazis are looking for the Ark. This is what the Ark could do. What well, those you almost have to have. So, so we know the information they know, and you're setting the table for it. But to your point of Achilles, I thought the same thing. I was like, okay, it would be nice if the characters all looked back like, no shit, I know what the fuck you're talking about. But instead, (laughs) it's like he's the only one with the knowledge in the room, and it's like, oh, Jesus, God. He's enlightening everybody that's never heard of the Achilles heel. Yeah, you could go – a simple way to fix that is go to a low-angle shot of McDonald's. He he puts his head down and just – and we see him roll his eyes into the camera would just say, oh, he knows, here he goes again. Why isn't McDonald He's, more like that? McDonald has no per- – I like that actor, and I like who he is, but he has no personality. None. Well, he's had no purpose, really. No purpose. Point. No purpose. Yeah. A villain with no reason to be a villain. All right. I, I think that pretty much kills that for, for today. Does anybody got anything else? I think that's it oh. for me. I, I find myself loving – each one of these movies, the more we pick it apart, yet I, I lament for the movie that they aren't. I, 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 I just wish that the time and nurturing had been given to these sequels in the way that it was given to the first film. Yep. Yeah. All right. It is Friday, so you know what I'm going to tell you. Our good friend Richard has a comic book store, Zeus Comics. You can find it at ZeusComics.com. You can go on and order all kinds of good stuff. Are they shipping you new comics yet, Richard? Yes, DC Comics is shipping new comic books. Uh, And Image and Boom and IDW and Marvel should be starting sometime at the end of May. Good. 
uh, I, 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 the reader, the listeners will already have heard this. So by the time they hear this, we should have a full slate of comic books happening again. Wonderful. So if you have things out there you want, go look for him online, ZeusComics.com. Richard will take care oh, of all you. your comics no. needs. Everybody, please stay safe. Have a great weekend. We'll be back tomorrow wash with an in-between. Yes, wash your damn hands. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, everybody. The minute of the age.